Hey guys, today we are going to look at how to write equations in slope-intercept form from tables. So slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. In case you forgot, m is the slope, so we'll need to find the slope, and b is the y-intercept, so we will need to find that. So the first thing we will do is something we've done before. We will identify the slope with the slope formula. And then we will identify the y-intercept, like I said, which is where the x value is zero. We've also done that before. And then the only new thing that we will be doing today is writing it in the slope-intercept form equation. And then just a note, sometimes the y-intercept is not easily found in the table. If that's the case, then we will need to set up an equation to solve for b. To do this, we will substitute in the slope and then an x and a y. So we'll substitute in those three things and then we will just solve the equation for b. So let's look at this first one right here. I need the slope and I need the y-intercept. So first thing I need is the slope. I'm just gonna plug into slope formula and I can choose any two points. I'm gonna choose these last two points since those are all positive numbers. So then for my slope, I will do 10 minus 8 for y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, so 2 minus 1. 10 minus 8 is 2, 2 minus 1 is 1, so the slope is 2 over 1, which is 2. Okay, we found the slope, and the second thing we need to write our equation is the y-intercept, which is where x is 0. So there's our y-intercept. It is 6. So now I have both things I need to write my equation. And that means my equation is y equals 2x plus 6. Let's do the same process on the next one. I need to find my slope first. I'm going to use two points, and I'm just going to use the bottom two because, again, those are positive numbers. So my slope is y2 minus y1 on top, so that'll be 2 minus 6, and then x2 minus x1 on the bottom, so 2 minus 1. 2 minus 6 is negative 4, and 2 minus 1 is 1, and negative 4 over 1 simplifies to negative 4. So my slope is negative 4, and then the y-intercept is where the x value is 0, so our y-intercept is 10 on this equation. And that means our equation is y equals negative 4x plus 10. All right, let's go to number 3. So first thing I need to do is find my slope. I'm going to use the two points right here as those are positive numbers. So this will be x1, x2, y1, and y2. So my slope will be 2 minus 9 over 1 minus 0 for x2 minus x1. 2 minus 9 is negative 7, and 1 minus 0 is 1, so our slope is negative 7. And then the y-intercept is where x is 0, so our y-intercept or b is positive 9. And that means our equation is y equals negative 7x plus 9. All right, let's take a look at number 4. This time I'm just going to use the top two points for my slope formula. This will be x1, x2, y1, and y2. So my slope will be y2 minus y1, which is 50 minus 0 over x2 minus x1, so negative 3 minus negative 4. 50 minus 0 is 50, and negative 3 minus negative 4 is the same thing as negative 3 plus 4, so it's 1. And then 50 divided by 1 is 50, so there's our slope. And then the y-intercept, be careful, it's where x is 0, so it is this point right here. Don't get it confused with that top one where y is 0. So our y-intercept is 200. So that means that our equation is y equals 50x plus 
200. All right, let's look at number five. Again, I'm just gonna use the top two points for my slope. So this will be x1, x2, y1, and y2. So to find the slope, we do y2 minus y1, so negative two minus negative one, over x2 minus x1, so six minus three. Negative two minus negative one is the same thing as negative two plus one, which is negative one, and six minus one is, or sorry, six minus three is three. So my slope is negative one thirds. Okay, now on this problem, I am not given where x is zero. So I'm going to have to solve for b. Let's review those steps really quick. They were at the top. Solving for b. If the y-intercept is not found in the table, we're gonna have to set up an equation to solve for b. We will substitute in the slope, which we just found, and then we will choose an x and a y to substitute in for the, those three letters, and then we will solve the equation for b. So we already have a slope. We are going to go ahead and substitute that into the y equals mx plus b formula for m. So we're trying to find b. We don't have it. I have m and then I have a whole table full of x and y points. You can use whatever points you want. I'm just gonna use these first two for x and y. So I'm going to substitute y with negative one. My slope, I found that it was negative one third. So, so far I have y equals m, and now I need the matching x value with that negative one, which was three plus b. Okay, now I solve this for b. So the first thing I need to do is simplify. This left side, negative one is by itself that simplified. Negative one times three can simplify to negative one. And then we're gonna leave plus b right there. That's what we're solving for. Now this is just a one step equation to get b by itself. I add one to both sides. And negative one plus one is zero. So that means that b is zero. So now I have both things I need to write my equation in slope intercept form. I have the slope of negative one third and my y intercept of zero. So that means my equation is y equals negative one third x. Remember I don't have to put plus zero, that's implied whenever I don't put plus anything. All right, and last one, number six. Let's start by finding the slope, and I see that my last two points don't have any negative signs, so I'm gonna use those. X1, X2, Y1, Y2. So to find the slope, I'll do Y2 minus Y1, which will be two minus zero, over X2 minus X1, so 10 minus eight. 2 minus 0 is 2, 10 minus 8 is also 2, so that means my slope is 1. All right, so we found the slope, and unfortunately, again, I do not have the y-intercept in this table, so I'm going to need to solve for it by plugging in to y equals mx plus b. So let's choose a point to use. I'm just going to use the first one this time. You can use any point for x and y. So I'm gonna substitute in y with negative six equals, I found the slope m, it was one, times the x value that I chose, which is two, and then plus b. So negative six equals two plus b. I simplified and now I need to get b by itself by subtracting two from both sides and negative two minus six is negative eight. So I have my slope, it is one, and I have my y-intercept, it is negative eight. So that means my equation is y equals one x minus eight, and we can simplify that a little bit further by putting y equals just x minus eight.